So what we are going to do now is to talk about these uh, pesticides. Uh, if you have been to farming the city, uh, you may find that there are pesticides which are being sold there. And also there are agrochemical companies which are selling a lot of these uh, uh, pesticides. In fact, around this period, uh, most farmers are actually purchasing uh, these pesticides. Uh, some are herbicides, some are insecticides, uh, and so on. So we wanted to go a bit uh, far and try to find out what exactly are pesticides. So let me start sharing. Are you seeing the screen? Yes, yes no. Yeah. So we are going to talk about these uh, pesticides. What is a pesticide? It is a chemical used to destroy or control pests. It's, it's, uh, it's simple definition. A chemical used to destroy or control pests. But then the next question is, what is a pest? Now, in an agricultural uh, context, a pest could be a fungi, bacteria, virus, nematodes, rats, birds, insects, and weeds. So the application of the pesticides is done to control diseases, insect pests, and weeds in order to increase crop yields. But uh, pesticides are dangerous uh, poisons. Uh, normally, containers carrying such materials are accompanied by warning signs. For example, that one, which shows the bones and the scar to indicate how dangerous uh, the pesticide is. Yeah, we use uh, different sort of uh, different types of equipment in spraying uh, pesticides uh, later on we'll talk about these uh, uh, applicators here we have got a uh, tractor mounted uh, sprayers uh, spraying these uh, pesticides, targeting them on the crop. We have got aerial applicators, ap application of, uh, of pesticides. Now, we do have pests which can cause uh, health problems. For example, plaque uh, is a disease which was associated with the fleas and rats. And this disease killed a lot of people. The bacteria was spread by rats to humans. So when the rats were unavailable, the fleas attacked humans. So in order to control this disease, uh, the rodents 
oral rates had to be targeted as well as the fleas. So there was a need to control rodents and fleas in order to stop this uh, disease. We also have other diseases like uh, malaria, which are transmitted by mosquitoes, uh, which carry the deadly parasite. The use of DDT actually reduced the risk of uh, mosquito bites. So DDT had to be targeted to the mosquitoes, those uh, the, the insects which transmitted uh, malaria. With the typhoid fever, we have flying insects which transmit typhoid. Especially where we have inadequate sanitation facilities. So sometimes we have to kill uh, the flying insects. Now we just want to look at the history of the pesticide use. How did it come about? One of the first pesticides to be used was nicotine, uh, which is derived from uh, tobacco, uh, which killed the uh, aphids. The other one was lead arsenate, which was used to control a disease, down mildew disease. There was also copper lime mixture which was sprayed in vineyards or, uh, or plantation crops to deter thieves. But it also reduced plant disease incidence. And probably later on, uh, it had to be used for disease control. There's also calcium acinate and the hydrogen cyanide, which were also used to control uh, insect uh, pests. For example, copper acinate was used to control the Colorado beetle, which was the pest. Now, most of the Pesticides were actually introduced or discovered during the World War II. For example, there was the introduction of organochlorine pesticides, uh, things like DDT. I know DDT has been banned, uh, but it may still be used in some areas. Linden, Aldrin, Dildrin, Endrin, Toxafin were applied to field crops. Some of these are, are still being used. Uh, the herbicide 24D was developed during the World War II. We still use it today. But there's now a new generation of uh, pesticides. the organophosphates, OPs, e.g. carbamates, but these were actually introduced in the 1930s, in the 1940s. Around the 1960s, we had the pyrethroids, which were synthesized from a natural uh, plant, pyrethra. So we have natural insecticide, which was synthesized from uh, chrysanthemum flower. Uh, which the botanical name is chrysanthemum cyanary folium or just C. 
Kuznarium. Now we have recent the pesticides, uh, which are now more expensive than the organophosphorus uh, pesticides. We now also use uh, pheromones or sex attractants uh, to, con uh, to control cotton uh, boar weevils. Later on, we'll talk about how this is done. I've just given you a snapshot about uh, the pesticides their history and what they are. Uh, let us focus on the advantages and the disadvantages of uh, pesticide use. I'm sure you've heard about organic farming. Uh, it appears we are now moving towards organic farming where we are saying we have heard enough from these pesticides, which are very toxic, and we are now trying to reduce uh, their use in the environment. These are some of the issues which we may have to talk about. Now, farming is shifting from use of pesticides towards organic farming. The, but of the the other problem now is that uh, if we stop usage of pesticides, the crop we are going to produce is relatively very expensive compared to crops produced using uh, pesticides. Probably it may become costly to control the pests without the pesticides. Uh, some of the advantages of the pesticides is that uh, they can efficiently control pests, uh, leading to crop yields by preventing uh, pest damage. We can prevent grain losses under storage, for example, the damage which is done by weevils can actually be stopped. Because uh, once we harvest our crops, they may not be safe during storage because of the weevils. Some of the advantages of pesticides is that uh, we can control pests, which are vectors of our uh, diseases. For example, mosquitoes, uh, which transmit uh, malaria, we can reduce these health problems. We can also target flies, which uh, transmit typhoid. We can also target a uh, tsetse fly, uh, which transmit a disease which kill livestock. However, there are some of the drawbacks or the downside of using uh, pesticides. Number one, pesticides are very toxic materials uh, which could cause uh, health problems. Number two, these pesticides seem to last for a long time in the environment, so they can persist in the environment for a long time. For example, uh, DDT. Now, DDT could bioaccumulate in organisms in the food chain. In fact, for your information, 
DDT could be detected in a milk of some mothers uh, in this country because we use a lot of DDT uh, to cure uh, mosquitoes. And it ended up uh, in a mother's milk. So children could drink, you know, contaminated milk. That's how serious uh, DDT uh, can be. Now, pesticide residues also frequently occur in food. After using, especially in horticultural uh, crops, when growing vegetables, you know, we, we, we spray a lot of these uh, pesticides, presumably to kill aphids. And uh, some of these pesticides end up at the you know, market place. There's also environmental uh, pollution problems uh, with uh, pesticides. Now, what I'm going to show you now is how we have been using uh, pesticides in this country. Probably the situation would have uh, changed. Here on this table, I just want to show, of course, it's a quite an old table showing the period between 1986 to 1991. The situation could have changed, but it could be, the proportions could still be the same. It appears that in Zimbabwe, we use a lot of uh, insecticides. So amongst the pesticides, uh, we have uh, insecticides dominating. This is followed by herbicides, which are quite a lot. Then the fungicides, there are not uh, a lot of fungicides which we use. Then we also have uh, growth regulators. We also have uh, rodenticides. Uh, those pesticides for killing uh, rats. Here we just want to look at the crops which consume a lot of uh, pesticides. Tobacco is one of the crops uh, which uh, consumes a lot of uh, pesticides. Uh, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, and the uh, growth regulators. Uh, this is followed by cotton, then maize, soybean, wheat, vegetables, mostly fungicides. They need coffee. On this table, I, I'm just showing you the crops like maize, wheat, soybean, cotton, and some of the major pests. Of course, some of these will talk about, uh, we'll talk about some of these uh, pests and how to control them uh, later on. For example, you know, if we look at pests like uh, maize, we know the stock borer is uh, an important issue. If we are talking about wheat, I think uh, things like queria beds become uh, an issue. Uh, soybean, we have got the same rupa. Cotton, we have got the borrowem. We have heard about some of these uh, issues. So I'm not going to name all the problems.
we also have uh, diseases which are important across uh, across uh, these uh, crops. I will move on to the pesticides themselves. Now there's a, a range of pesticides which we have in this country. We can actually classify these pesticides by the type of pest controlled. For example, we can have a caricide, which controls mites, ticks, and the spiders. I can use another example. If we have a, the herbicide, uh, it can control uh, weeds, which are plants. Bacteria side, bacteria, and so on. So we can classify the pesticides according to the target pest. The other thing is that uh, we can also classify pesticides according to their effects on the pesticide. For example, I can just pick a, a desiccant, uh, which when you spray, it can uh, kill the, the, the plant, or you can have a disinfectant, you can have a repellent. So we are now classifying according to what the pesticide can do to the pests. By the way, we do have a lot of pesticide classifications. Some of them could be due to their chemistry. It could also be due to how they are applied. But remember, we are now covering all, all pesticides. Now, just to give you a snapshot about the pesticides, we could have uh, insecticides, fungicides. We know insecticides kill I mean, these are pesticides which kill uh, insect pests, fungicides, pesticides which control uh, fungal diseases, herbicides, the kill weeds, rodenticides, pesticides which kill uh, rats and mice, growth regulators. Uh, could be applied uh, in uh, crops, but not really targeting any pest. There are also natural products which can be used for pest control. Now, under insecticides, We can have other classifications, like uh, according to their chemistry, organophosphorus insecticides. We can have carbamate insecticides, uh, molasticides, and nematicides. Probably they can be separated from insecticides. Then we have got organochlorine insecticides, pyrethroids. These are some of the fungicides which are used. We have got inorganic and heavy metal fungicides. Things like copper fungicides, mercury compounds, 
organotin compounds, some of which are very old, like sarufa and lime sarufa. These have been used for a long time. Then we can have uh, non-systemic organic fungicides. These are dithiocarbamates, thermide group, dinitrophenol derivatives, chlorine substituted aromatic fungicides, cationic detergents. Of course, some of them will be will go into details. So at this stage, there's no need to remember all of this list. These are the systemic fungicides, things like antibiotics, benzimidarosaurus, Pyrimidine and piperazine derivatives, morpholine and oxathaline derivatives. Of course, some of them will discuss uh, in detail. At, at this stage, these are just the names. Then herbicides. Now we can classify herbicides according to how they are used. For example, we have got uh, post emergence herbicides, which can be translocated compounds or contact herbicides. There are also pre emergence herbicides, uh, which are applied to the soil after planting, but before crop emergence. But we could have other classification based on the chemistry of these uh, herbicides. So I've just given you a general overview about the various uh, uh, pesticides, which uh, these are quite a, a, a lot. And you will be picking some examples as we discuss uh, the pest problem uh, issues. So I will end the presentation here. So this was just an introduction to pesticides. You can see we'll be talking on a wide range uh, of chemicals which cover insecticides, uh, herbicides, and the fungicides. Any, any questions? No, none from me. So what I think I'm going to, uh, what I should do now is that uh, I will talk a bit further on these uh, pesticides so that I, I will be zeroing in on the specific uh, issues. But it is still on, the, on these uh, pesticides. I have just given you a very broad, uh, a, a very broad, uh, range of uh, things. Now I'm going to try to be specific on certain uh, items. So I will stop and start.